The large block in the middle of the periodic table is home to the transition metals, including well-known metals such as iron, copper, gold and mercury. Other more unusual transition metals include scandium, niobium and ruthenium. They all have similar physical and chemical properties. Transition metals are much less reactive than the metals in groups 1 and 2, so in general the transition metals are more useful. But all metals have the following physical properties in common. Metals are hard. Many tools are made from metals because of their hardness. Metals are shiny, so they're widely used to make decorative items. Metals are malleable. They can be hammered and bent into different shapes, resulting in these fine items of jewellery. Or this huge modern sculpture. Metals are ductile. They can be drawn into wires, again making them useful in jewellery and construction. Metals are strong. The metals in these bridges have good tensile strength for supporting heavy loads. Metals conduct heat. Thermal images of a saucepan on a hot plate show that heat energy is easily conducted through the metal pan. Metals also conduct electricity. Place any metal in a circuit and it'll allow electricity to flow. Most metals have high melting and boiling points. A tungsten filament has a melting point of over 3,000 degrees Celsius. Metals are also sonorous. This means they produce a sound when struck. Alloys containing the transition metals copper, nickel and zinc are used in coin production. A mixture of metals is used because it's stronger and harder than pure metal.